Hi everybody, it's Oops Pa, aka Katie, and I am here to do a book review. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, yeah, so um, it's been a long time since you've got one from me, and I've been getting subtle hints from Combat Oasis, aka Jim, uh, that he might like to hear one. So I just read this book recently, um, right here called The Keys to the Street by Ruth Rendell, and um, it was an interesting read, so I thought I would do a book review on it, um, because maybe some of you will want to pick it up. So the story, the premise of the story is uh, it's a mystery and uh, there is a woman, she's the main character, um, and she has donated her bone marrow um, through an agency to uh, someone who's dying with leukemia. And so uh, this person receives a transplant and so many months later she is uh, able to contact this person and um, to establish some kind of relationship with them, which is a common thing apparently um, when people donate things like bone marrow and and kidneys and that sort of thing. So I'll tell you what I don't like about it first and then I'll tell you what I do like about it. There are two specific, well three specific things I don't like about the book. Uh, one is uh, the first chapter of the book to me is a bit pointless. Um, she spends, the author spends so much time discussing the details of the streets. Um, there, the story takes place uh, around a park uh, for the most part, the streets around this park. And uh, it deals with people who are uh, on, on, living on the streets as well as it has characters in the book um, who are uh, sort of wealthy or, or, or you know, middle class. And, um, and it talks a lot about the streets and how they're broken up and how certain streets are where the wealthy live and other streets are where the, the poor or the impoverished lived. And um, while I understand that it kind of sets the tone, uh, the, the class, it, it's discussing class and class differences in this little tiny area, um, it's, I don't see the importance. After having read the entire book, I really don't see the importance. And so for me, the first chapter is boring, detailed, and bleh. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. So the second thing I don't really like about the book is that I think that the characters, uh, some of the characters are really stereo stereotyp stereotypical characters. Um, we have a drug addict in the book, and the drug addict, um, I'm not sure that she's captured uh, kind of like who he is and, and his circumstances and developed him very well. And so uh, I think that he's a very flat character. Um, also, there is um, a butler in the book, um, an ex-butler, a former butler in the book. And um, I also think that th this character has a lot of prejudices. And I think that this character, um, it's easy to dislike him, but at the same time, I feel like she hasn't developed him well either. Uh, he's, he turns out to be quite an important character throughout the book. And so I feel, I feel disappointed or I feel let down that we didn't get to see uh, all sides of him or more sides of him. Um, the main character, I think that she's done a pretty good job with her. Um, but at the same time, I also think that she could have done more with her. Um, it's a little one-sided. She has a lot of um, moments where she has to uh, challenge herself and challenge the way she used to think and, and kind of change who she is. But you don't really have any idea how she does it. It kind of just is like, well, this she went from this one moment of being this way and suddenly she's feels empowered and she's acting a different way. But um, that I don't think is realistic and um, I don't think that's the way it works out in, in our everyday lives. And so... I think she's missing this connection. How do you go from uh, a particular type of character with certain characteristics uh, and develop into somebody who's quite different? And uh, because she has uh, quite a transformation through the book. Um, the third thing I don't like about the book is, um, I'd say two thirds of the way through the book, um, it's all of a sudden you go from one chapter to the next and it's as if you're missing a ch whole chapter. Um, she starts in with a, a certain set of characters and you feel like you're in the middle of their conversation or in the middle of something. And uh, I flip back to see if maybe I had missed a few pages somewhere or if the book itself was missing pages. And so I continued to read on and I, I could catch on to what was going on and, and keep going forward. But uh, I really felt like she got partway through the book and then she was in maybe in a rush to get it over with or whatever. And um, so it seems that she's missing some um, pages or missing some important uh, developments in the book that uh, the reader should know about. 
Uh, so those are the things I don't like about the book. What I did like about the book is that um, the book has several sets of characters who are living um, different lives and that their lives intersect with one another. This I think is very cool. Um, I love movies that do this and I like books that do this. And so the main character, she, her life is intersected by several of the other characters uh, that the author is developing. And, um, and in some cases, her life is not directly affected by some of these other characters but indirectly and that in itself is interesting as well so I like that layering that the author has done um, also I, I feel that the ending to the book is very realistic so it's not a romantic ending it doesn't end happily for um, many of the characters um, there are some good parts to the ending and some very sad parts to the ending and for me I feel like yes you know if this story was unfolding um, in someone's life that I knew that these are the kinds of conclusions that I think may occur and so uh, in, for that part I, I liked it but also at the same time uh, part of the ending is quite crushing it's quite sad and so it left me the book left me feeling gloomy for a few days afterwards uh, so for any of you sensitive souls out there uh, maybe this is not the book for you but for people who like a bit of mystery this is not a spellbinding mystery this is not a book that's going to keep you reading from page to page to page to page and you're not able to put it down. You will be able to put this book down. The, the mystery in the book is very subtle, um, but it's what will keep you interested is the uh, few of the characters. You're going to want to know what happens to them at the end. You're going to feel a little invested in them. That's my guess. And, uh, and so you're going to want to know what happens. Um, so if you want a relatively light read um, with some interesting characters and a little mystery, then this is the book for you, my friend. Okay, so that's my book review for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll chit-chat with you all later. Bye.